Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction. We are doing another double reaction for SB19. This time, checking out Lee Ham as well as Crimson. Not only the respective lyric videos, but also the Wish USA bus performances. So we're starting off with Lee Ham, which uh, from what I've seen from various other reactors is uh, thumbnails. It seems like this one is going to be quite the emotional roller coaster of a song, whereas Crimson would potentially be a little bit lighter. Maybe, I'm not sure, but Lee Ham definitely seems like it's going to be quite heavy. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as far as I understand, Lee Ham means a uh, letter uh, from a quick search, hopefully. Oh 
Oh my god. Holy shit. That was raw as fuck. Holy shit. I cannot wait to listen to the live performance of this. Holy shit. That was incredible. It's a song that you can take so many different ways in terms of who it does, who it's designed for. I feel like whatever your situation is, just a bond that feels unbreakable, that revolves around true unconditional love to a point where I cannot imagine my life without you because it feels like until you stepped into my life, my life was non-existent. Like literally the bridge is like, what if we never met with my life be still called a life. What kind of life my life would be if you weren't there? Would I even be alive if it weren't if it wasn't for you? And what I love about the song is that there's unconditional love, sure, but it's not in a pretentious way. Like literally the lyrics of I believe it was said, like the good and bad shaped me. Like, our life together may not have been all sunshine and rainbows, but my love to you over outweighs the negative moments that we had together. Friends fight, couples fight, you and your, you know, parents fight, everybody fights. It's just a natural thing to happen. Uh, not everybody can be 100% positive with one another. Sometimes shit happens, but it's not about... What happens in that moment, it's not allowing that moment to be the last interaction that we have and then hating yourself when that person is potentially not around or you miss that person because they, they moved away and you never got that closure, which is why you're writing this letter. It almost like makes me think of, there was a song by AT's Jung Ho, uh, Everything. There's a music video, but I reacted to that song for the first time in my album reaction and I talked about how it felt like someone who is saying all the things that he was afraid to say when the person was right next to them. And now that they're gone and out of his life, now he's finally is able to speak his heart out, basically. Just the fact that the chorus says, this, uh, this letter is for the one I love. That's, that's all you need. It, it can go so many different ways. It, it just depends on the listener to decide how it fits their life and how do they relate to to these lyrics regardless of whether it's like friendship relationship there is that one person in all of our lives hopefully uh that made you feel like this world is worth living at a time where you felt like you don't want to be alive anymore so like the whole in your presence my whole being is at peace you are the joy of my world like i literally my my 
happiness revolves around you. And I, I also love the line of your love doesn't ask for anything in return. Uh, I'm stained, but you treated me like treasure. You find you found the gold within me, which is a nice bit of reference, I guess, to Gento, because it's more about the gold is not literal gold. The gold is like metaphorical. There's gold within a soul, which is why in the actual music video for gold, we saw that the gold was inside. It's not about materialistic things. So I feel like the song just builds up on something like gold and puts gold in a very in a much more emotional uh, perspective to a point where it almost makes me feel like I wish SB19 deconstructed Gento and turned it into a ballad or something along those lines. That would have been pretty uh, pretty interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just a person that made your life worth living. My burdens became lighter. You seem to be the only reason I am filled with certainty because of you. and. The apologies may be, you know, for all of the good, there's been bad. And maybe, you know, you, you were such a piece of heaven to me, but maybe I wasn't able to be the same for you. So I will do my hardest to not let you be alone when you are suffering. Um, as they say, I won't let you be alone in any battle. You are my heart's heaven, haven, sorry. Um, it was just an incredibly beautiful song. I don't know what else to say. So I just, I'm, I'm really excited to hear those vocals live now with the Wish uh, USA bus. So without further ado, let's get into it. Wish. Shut the fuck up, please. Don't interrupt the song. surprise me if there's like a, an orchestral version of this because i think you guys talked about how there's an orchestral version of maybe Elao or maybe another song this just there's already orchestra in it but uh, i just it ugh, it's so fucking beautiful Oh, 
That's a beautiful line. Oh. And just had to throw in a little bit of that darkness in. are just beautiful holy shit don't say wish or something thank you i'm so glad the announcer didn't ruin the ending of that song uh that was beautiful i don't know what else to say honestly like the ending like the harmonies and still just fucking annihilating it it was beautiful and like i i love that whenever they were singing in unison the ken always kind of like brings that little depth it, it's almost like listening to somebody that is singing to you from heaven and then you hear Ken's voice and it's like, why is somebody calling me down there from hell <laughs> or something? Like it was so like the register is so low in comparison. It's just it just creates a really trippy effect. Uh, and it's it's beautiful. And plus, whenever Ken's verse comes in, he just has an incredibly like, uh, I guess r&b vibe to to his vocals like even though he's singing with a lot of emotions it almost still sounds slightly sensual uh in the best way possible it's just like he uh, he 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 
they all did a phenomenal job anyway let's move on to our next video which is going to be <laughs> crimson uh very very excited about this one so i'm not watching the lyric video because there's no english captions so we have genius.com Um, let's take it back because uh, Ken just threw me in for a loop. Plus, I just realized that the lyrics are not in English on Genius.com, so we have to settle for a color coded lyric video. So let's jump right back into it. <laughs> Ooh, that was dope. VVS. Yes. VVS is a clarity gray describing a diamond that is very, very slightly included. VVS diamonds are basically incredibly rare and valuable. So Ken is basically talking about how they're the fucking franchise, how valuable we are. We we shed our blood sweat and tears into it we deserve it and now all these fuckers are chasing us that try to be like us try to hop on the uh the hype train or try to hop on the trend of sb19 is cool so i want to copy them where in reality i remember you guys were talking about how uh they were actually getting some hate for like pretending to be k-pop that there was those were some of the uh, uh, negative messages that they received or comments or whatever uh obviously uh this is for those who have some shit to say about them uh and they're just flexing basically with the vvs line <laughs> In a world full, full of fakes, we are the real deal and we are rare and everyone else is just trying to pretend to be us, but, you know, they hate us because they ain't us. That's the quote from the movie. Finding Nemo, nice. Ooh. That was, we'll talk about it later. This pre-chorus is very catchy. Oh, 
you, Saucy Boys 19. Ooh. Holy fuck, this was beautiful. I love the we go hard like we we run, we go hard like we will lose none, like we are going in there with nothing to lose. Like what's the worst thing that can happen? We'll go back to our life of what? Being true to ourselves. That's what we are already, bitches. So, you know, whatever. Um I love the lyrics. I absolutely love the line with the getting rid of the flu. Because I got a lot of things to do. It almost like, I don't know if it's like a reference or not, but it reminds me of like the, the flu game with Michael Jordan, where he literally had to play at a championship level at the playoffs with a fucking flu, and he still is better than you. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if that's, it's just basically like, I'm, I'm, I'm down with the sickness, but I'm still ill on this mic like i'm sick but i'm still going to whoop your ass with this one um basically uh, nothing can stop me not not sickness not ha hatred not nothing i'm never going to be a hero no quit like trying to fight to find quit in me is like trying to find <laughs> nemo which is a fucking dope line uh you know uh had to cut ties with do double crosses just to thread the needle holy shit that is an awesome line like the double crosses being double crossed cutting ties with those who are negative towards me and those who try to do me harm i had to do it in order to thread the thread of the needle with the double cross it's, it's just such a fucking awesome line that's a that's a that's a bar the double cross which is a tie and like the thread of the it's just a fucking beautiful line there's like some awesome lines too with josh hot outside but the next still frosty the heat has nothing on us pull up five deep with the same old posse uh y'all too easy like the five of sb19 you know, uh, the same we that we always were. Um, copy, not me, never been sloppy because all you copies are basically sloppy. And the too cold, I'm um, ice, can't stand me. Uh, it's like, I'm too cold to the touch. You cannot handle the cold. You know, you go with me, I'm going to drag you down to the, to the, to the, depths of the coldness and you 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 will not be able to survive i love their their attitude i i, I love um how how conf confident and like cocky they are because they deserve to be where they are at and you know uh it remind reminded me a little bit of uh what uh that music video and that song in general don't confuse cockiness with confidence because we got to this point because we were us um there's also like a line about the drip with with the nikes if i'm not mistaken uh but overall it's like this line is also pretty pr pretty fucking cool like i don't want to make it rain i can't distinguish my flame you can't blame me i'm insane don't want to make it rain almost makes me think like i don't want to throw my materials around like money around can't extinguish my flame it's almost like you can't turn down the passion like you cannot do anything to me that would make me stop being me you can't blame me i'm insane like in a world full of people that just flaunt their popularity and their status and their materialistic uh you know uh their materials uh the drip so to speak their drip is basically being confident in themselves like their accomplishments is their drip like they don't need to prove to you that they have like expensive cars and whatever the fuck we we 
I'm insane because I live in a world full of duplicates that think that money um, is everything that you need in order to, you know, uh, to be happy, which obviously if I had more money, I would definitely be happier because I would have less problems. But if you are a sad fuck deep down, no amount of money will probably help you. But at the same time, it's like I'm insane because I'm in a world filled with people that have lost the sight of what it's like to work for what you deserve. Uh, work for your passion, the blood, sweat, and tears lines, kind of like uh, to put everything on the line uh, to a point where you don't know if you're going to make it. Like nowadays, people just hop on trends and just uh, expect shit to magically come to them, whether it's ma money or status or views or whatever the fuck. So I, I, I really love this. This song was so fucking good. It was such a fun song. It, it, it had so much sass in it at the same time. And uh, the pre-chorus is addicting as hell. The chorus is incredible. And it's just, it's a, it's a fun song that basically flaunts your hard work in a way that makes it feel as if you're cocky, but in reality, you're just being confident. It almost makes me think of like the equivalent of um, the artist NF being able to drop hard songs without the need to curse like he's like one of those rappers that he doesn't need to throw f-bombs every two seconds or like half 60 percent of his songs be you know curse words and offensive words and whatever the fuck else in order to make you see the picture of how hard he works, how much it took him to get to that point and how like he can paint you a brutal picture that will leave you devastated without even needing to drop a single expletive. So that, maybe it's a weird analogy to that, but it's just like they don't need to flaunt their fame. They got the money probably. They could buy the cars and whatnot, but they, they don't really need to do that because at the end of the day, what they focus on is their passion and their passion is music and, you know, uh, being the best that SB19 can be. So anyway, let's move on to uh, our final performance, which is going to be Crimson in the form of a live performance from the Wish bus. Let's go. Oh, Gucci man brought, brought the sunglasses out. Nice. Pablo is very uh, pretty. Sorry. What? Oh. Ken is about to open up the depths of hell. Let's 
Cool. Yeah. Oh. Too saucy. Can stop, please. No, ooh, don't. I'm about to fall. like Ken is engulfing all of their voices. It's like, it's like literally being swallowed by fucking Satan. What the fuck? Let's hell run. Now we run. We go hard like we lose money. Now it's done. I just suck. That's it. That's it. In this zone like Crimson. Blood is built. Let it drip. 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 When I sip. Let it drip. 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 Wish Crimson. Shut the fuck up. Really? On Wish? I thought this was on Timo. What the fuck? Like, read the room. The timing is completely off. You know, wait for the end. You know, people are watching. They're going to stop watching once, you know, they stop performing. But, you know, stop listening to the this radio station. Wait, you know what I mean. <laughs> I will fucking kill you. Anyway, uh, I really enjoyed the song. Uh, it even sounded better in this live version than it did in the original lyric video. Um, like the the athlete, like Stell is really kind of like flexing his vocals. Can kind of like go in the extra depth, uh, the extra mile. Sorry, depth. I guess this was awesome. the The glasses with Josh were all, were awesome. I love how he pulled them out. It's almost like turning into like uh an alter ego as they come up with the song uh in a way this this was this was beautiful and i again we already talked about the lyrics in the uh first reaction but like the lyricism i i don't know how accurate this, the lyrics the translation is but uh it was very very clever especially like the double crosses to thread a needle that would that and cutting ties and just it was just like a just flexing with with some nice bars and you know success and an awesome tune like uh the instrumental it is it, just awesome and i just i love the song uh and lee ham obviously was was a beautiful um heart warming emotional uh song um about of source that was uh just truly um incredible it, it was truly uh a, a beautiful presentation of both lyrics uh of lyricism and vocals and just uh, production in general it was it was beautiful so i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will catch you all in the next one be well and safe wherever you are